The following video and continued growth of this channel are made possible by your support over on patreon.com slash 616 entertainment. Sign up today at any level you choose and help bring these brand new projects to life. Or if you're looking for a brand new t-shirt, maybe stop by prowrestlingtees.com slash 616 entertainment. I got you covered. What's up, Dan Dans? My name is Ian. Welcome to a very special episode of 616 Thunder. We are going to play WrestleQuest for the first time ever. Seriously, this is the first time I've ever turned the game on. You and I will experience this together as we go. Let's get to it. Now, if you are out of the loop, this is a JRPG based around a professional wrestling podcast chorus. Welcome to the toy room where every action figure, toy miniature, and plushy dreams of wrestling greatness. Now, I don't really know what the plot of this game is. Hold on, Jake the Snake is here. From the board game Jungles of Jungle Ajai. What the fuck is Jungle Ajai? <laughs> oh, man. So, okay, so I assume these are the different... Uh, like overworlds, not overworlds, the different levels and stages and whatnot that we're going to be in. Oh, it's DDP up in this zone, um, bitch. To the wintry winds of the great north. I've never tried to do a DDP impression before, so I just did whatever voice came to my head. I'm liking the way this looks already. I'm seeing several different promotions. Oh, and look at that boy right there. We know who that. Oh, Jeff Jarrett. Every toy lives, breathes, and craves wrestling. Practicing their slams and paying homage to the legends that came before them. Not every voice is going to be an impression, you know? Conrad Thompson up in the sun, bitch. Many tales of creativity and imagination have sprung from the toy room, and many fabled battles have taken place there, both in and out of the ring. Oh, they're doing a little podcast ski right here. I see. Was po is podcast chorus? What is that? A fucking. Is this, is this a narrator? Is it a robot? I don't understand what podcast chorus is. One such tale and its many battles, both of the plastic and of the heart, is about to begin. And a quest of this size takes not one hero, but two. Conrad's belt collection back there, how about it? Look at this, look at the spotlights. You got the big old Tronsky there. Kind of a strange uh, vantage point we have here. I can't tell if I'm looking straight down from the ceiling or like upward toward the ramp. The people on this are facing us on the sides of the screen. Oh my goodness, the one and only Macho Man is here. He's got the world title. What I assume to be the world title around his waist. Man, this is cool. Oh, the ring is made of Legos. What the fuck is that? We're here to see the cream rise to the top. So if you want to find me, don't look sideways. Don't look behind you. Just look up. Stone Age Cotton. No way, macho man. Forfeit the match and give that championship belt to its rightful owner, me. He's standing on a pile of lit dynamite. That's not a good idea. Listen, lizard, you've got to earn this belt with your madness in the ring. It only belongs to the best. Yeah! That's why I'll be the champ for a long time. Dig it! 10,000 years as world champion. Whoa, yeah! Are those shades a little too dark? Can't you see I have this place rigged to blow? Man, that check out the upper right in the pink ranger looking outfit is a babe pixelated babe but a babe nonetheless oh that's fucking invincible next to her isn't it how about that explosives don't scare me you stitched up cotton ball you can't win by cheating you always think you are such a hero don't you macho man you can't win when the deck is stacked against you this bad and that's the bottom thread because stone age said so can't win Stone Age, you are just a grain of sand in the desert of Macho Man. Oh, yeah! Several oh yeahs in one promo. I don't know how I feel about that. The big elbow into the dynamite! 
Holy shit. Young Randy Santos. Wow, wow, wow. Did you guys see that? <laughs> peanuts. Who's peanuts? Forget it, Randy. We'll never get tickets this late. What? Come on, man. We can still wrestle outside. I gotta try and remember what their voices are. <laughs> Go for it, Randy. <laughs> oh, fuck. I don't remember what his voice was. I guess we'll just for... I think this is who we play as. So I'll just do this as my voice. Oof, good thing this isn't the plastic mattress. Man, how do the pros do some of those high-flying moves without hurting each other? <laughs> Are you kidding me? It's all fake, dude. What? Watch your mouth. Yeah, Peanuts, shut it. You really think that it's real? Really? Of course it's real. <laughs> it's about as real as Todd. <laughs> what the fuck? A goddamn robot. Hey, counterfeit toys are still real. Shut up, Todd. And you, Randy, even if wrestling was real, which it isn't, you'll never be a pro. No kid from our town ever could be. You couldn't be more wrong. Wrestling is real, and I'll be its greatest champion ever. OC? <laughs> OC! <laughs> oh, shit. Several years later, man, a time jump already. How do you like that? See, now this is where I was confused when I saw gameplay for this. I saw Randy Savage was in the game, and then I saw this character, Randy Santos, and I was like, oh, I guess they don't actually have the license for Macho Man, but they do. Are we just like a cosplay knockoff wrestler, or what's going on? I don't know. So now I guess we'll still just use my voice, even though we're growing up. Ah, yes, this new outfit feels estupendo. But I get, but I better get out of the main part of the gym. Mr. Stretch wants me to train the new students. The radar in the bottom corner will help you stay on course. Icons will appear here for quest objects, shops, healing. When in doubt, look here to keep slamming in the right direction. Now, you know what's funny about reading that is I'm also, ooh, what does that do? I want to look at the bag. Can I not look at the bag? Oh boy, should I open all of these? See, my, my instinct tells me I should open fucking everything. But I want to open these bags, and it does not seem as though I can. Oh, circle is run. Okay, see, we're getting it. You don't have to tell us shit. We're getting it. They want us to go that way, which means I'm not going to listen, and I'm going to go upstairs. <laughs> I'm going to try to find something immediately. Camera mode. Okay, we got different camera modes. Oh, I see. Now we can look around. We got a ladder match down here. Big old boot ski. Cream macho. I don't know if I would want to eat cream macho. I don't know if that's my uh, what I'm looking for. Face to face. Oh, see, now this is a ladder match that went wrong. All right, all right, all right. We will focus. Let's look at the different camera modes, though. Oh, I see, I see. One camera mode follows you. And the other one, you just move the camera. Nah, nah, nah. We want it to feel personal. We want it to, we want to be part of it. Now, Dan Dan's, if you don't know about WrestleQuest, this is available on, I want to say, fucking everything. I think this is on Switch, PlayStation, Xbox, PC. Should be everywhere. You want to win. Johnny, stretch. There you are, Randy. Get in the ring and show these green horns the ropes. You got it, Mr. Stretch. Who the fuck is that guy? All right, rookies, you want to learn how to wrestle? You want to discover how to win the crowd's loyalty and hear their cheers shake the very foundation of the universe? You want to become a coiled spring of excitement? The most electrifying thing in the world of... Take two. The most electrifying thing the world of wrestling has ever seen? Man, this is downright poetic. <laughs> Then you are in the right place, muchachos. Take some notes and soak it in. Here we go. We're going to learn how to fucking play this game now. On your turn, you can strike, taunt, use an item, or use a gimmick. Let's practice our strikes first. So X is our strike button. And we're going to... Okay, whenever you strike, you can earn some extra damage if you are able to match the button prompt. Try it now. Okay. That's it. It's not like rhythm based, we just press what it shows. Most attacks have a chance to send your opponent to the ropes. Try it, amigo. Okay, so we're gonna strike. 
Oh, I see. The quicker we hit it, the more damage it seems like it'll do. After knocking them into the ropes, you'll have a chance for a follow-up attack. Do it now. Gotcha, gotcha, I see. Check out your height meter down at the bottom. This is a measure of how pumped up the crowd is in your favor. You can raise the height meter by mixing up your attacks and nailing button prompts. You son of a bit. Oh! I wasn't expecting that, but I still got in it by the fucking skin of my teeth, eh? Hype up the crowd for extra damage and even to enable some powerful moves. One way you can build hype is by using the taunt option. This will generate hype equal to two plus your influence. All that grandstanding will leave you vulnerable though, and you'll take an extra 25% damage for one round. Try taunting now. All right. Hit a little taunt ski. I don't really know what happened. Taunting is risky, but it can help you build hype quickly. Beware though, if the hype meter dips in your enemy's favor, they'll gain extra power instead. Speaking of extra power, let's try out a gimmick. These are special abilities and wrestling moves. What did the taunt do? I didn't even feel like the hype meter fucking moved. But maybe I'm wrong. Okay, for gimmicks, we've got South of the Border Stunner, Prepare for Tag Team, uh, but we don't have a tag partner or pin. All right, so South of the Border Stunner. Look at all these different things. Summons, good Lord. All right, let's check out a South of the Border Stunner. Oh yeah! Oh shit! God damn it, all right, well, that could have gone a little smoother. Such power, such strength, such machismo. I'll knock you out. Wow. I like the sound of that. What happens if you fail the prompt after knocking an enemy into the ropes? Then the enemy will use that momentum against you, so you better nail it. Is the only way of beating an opponent to make them lose all their HP? Dios mio, no. In fact, most other wrestlers you face will have to be pinned. Observe. All right, so we're going to go through... I guess we're going to go through the whole fucking tutorial here together. I considered not doing this in the episode, but, you know, fuck it. Let's do it, right? I said we we're going to experience it for the first time together, and here we go. See how this guy looks weak and ready to drop? We call this state fatigue. You can fatigue an enemy by bringing them to low HP. Some abilities may also fatigue enemies as a debuff. Let's send him to the mat with a strike. Can do. Boom. Knocked him down. Now this enemy is fallen. When your opponent is on the mat like this, he is ready to be put into submission. The pin option will be available in the gimmick menu. All right, here we go. Go for the pin ski. Yes, sir. Launch into it. Now, is there anything I have to do? To successfully pin them, you'll have to hit the button when the indicator is in the green zone. Ooh, this is fun. What button? I guess X? Careful, your opponent will get up and recover some health if you fail. Man, they didn't give me a lot of time there, huh? But we still got him! Get the fuck out of here! Nice! Now the enemy is down and out. If you fail the pin attempt, your enemy will kick out and recover some HP. You can always attempt to pin him again after damaging him. Every pin attempt you do will get easier. Be on your guard though, Tipo. Enemy wrestlers can also pin you if you get too weak. Once you are pinned, there is no coming back. Also, not that, uh, note that all, take two, note that not all enemies will need to be pinned. Only wrestlers and other tough guys. Leveling up a little bit, how about it? Ooh, good enough for two levels. Good enough for two levels, Randy Santos. Look at a stat skis going up. I like it, I like it. And that covers the basics of wrestling. Strike and slam your opponent and be sure to hit those button prompts for extra damage. Beat them up enough and you'll be softened up for a pin. Remember to keep things exciting and interesting to keep the crowd engaged so that you retain control over the hype meter. Thanks, Randy. Why don't you lend a hand with the other greenhorns around? When you're done, come and see me in the AV room for some lessons with the other advanced students. Ooh, a ladder match ski. Press and hold circle to run. Yeah, I know. I already know that. Look at this motherfucker. 
He lit up for a second. Can I? What do I? That's it? All right, well, it looked like we were going to be able to interact with it somehow, but I guess it just shakes a little. All right, well, that was a waste of time. This Xavier Woods looking motherfucker. We can talk to him. That Brock Lesnar looking son of a bitch, we can talk to him. All right, can we get in the ring though and check out these ladder match boys? No? The most exciting thing on the screen, we can't interact with it. Not a big fan of that. Who is over here? We got some other boys. Punch man. We got some other boys over here. Different outfits and whatnot. Okay, okay. Now, ooh, British Bulldog, you see that? Got a little bit of British Bulldog action there. Now, they want us to go up, and we're not gonna do that just yet. You know how I like to do it in RPGs. I like to go uh, where I'm not told to go to find out what else might happen. What's up with this guy? Thanks. What's with the ladder? Are they repairing something? The only thing they're fixing is the lack of spice in this matchup. Many battles include some kind of extra scheme or rules. These themes amp up the challenge and the crowd. For a special match, attaining victory is a matter of playing by the rules for that match. Man, I, I was, thought I was going to be able to like spar that guy. What's going on with you? Who knew a gut buster would be so gut busting? Ugh. <laughs> oh, look at the animal signage up there. What's wrong with Who's this guy? guy? What's wrong with that guy? Did he drink a bad slam shake? I'm afraid not, amigo. He's suffering from a status effect. Many abilities add lingering effects that can help or harm you. Vain means you are particularly influenced by the crowd's behavior. You are less powerful when the crowd is negative toward you. The dreaded hype drain will cause you to generate less hype with each action. <laughs> I've never seen this word before. Muy disinfortunado. <laughs> Mint condition toys are super valuable and well protected, taking 50% less damage. Generate twice as much hype with each action when you are vibing. Burning units lose 5% of their H- Okay, dude. Fucking goddammit. it. I get it. It's an RPG. There are status effects. It's- You know what? I need to switch over to the D-pad. Because when I was using the stick, it was hard to just move in one direction. Had me fucking bouncing around all over the place. Look at that Triple H looking boy. All right, who who here knows the secret to pumping up the crowd? Leonard Alpha. Oh, dude, it's baby oil. Come on, <laughs> come on, Leonard. How many times do I have to tell you that baby oil is not the answer to everything? You know what? Get out of here. Go do some burpees until you puke. Sir, you can pump up the crowd by showing your spice in the ring. Very good, Randy. What about before you get in the ring? I'll tell you. You gotta get on the mic and cut a promo so hot it will ignite the crowd and burn your opponent to ash. How do you do this? Part of it is knowing your enemy. And part of it is being fast on your feet. Time to try it, Randy. Come on up here. Let's see how you do with a rapid fire session. Tremor. Ha! Let's see. Randy is, uh, he has a stupid name. <laughs> Not as stupid as your face, or Randy is better than the seismic disappointment or whatever it is. See? Come on, that's better. Ooh, who's this? Randy is so weak. Even... Oh, that's an italicized I. I thought it was a slash. <laughs> Even I can see that he doesn't stand a chance of winning. Yeah, but can you smell what uh, I am doing? That might be true for snakes and ladders, but we're here to wrestle, so you're going down. How about it? I'm gonna crack Candy Santos over here like a sugar cookie. <laughs> we should be careful with all that sugar and candy or you might get diabetes. I'm gonna dump this kitty cat here. No. No, dude, come on. That kitty cat thing was fucking dog shit. Get out of here. No, no, no. Bullshit. You see, class, you can generate hype before a big match by flexing on the mic. If you want to see more, I can have an old match here on the TV between the Lochador and Dash Talent, back when the Lochador was a part of PAW. Prior to this bout, Dash had been antagonizing the Benthic Terror with a fishing rod during his matches against other opponents, trying to hook him during a high-flying move. All right, you slam junkies, get back to work. Except for you, Randy, I have a job for you. What is it, Mr. Stretch? There's a guy in the Boxwood Extreme Wrestling. 
take two. There's a guy from the Boxwood Extreme Wrestling, the local wrestling league, over at the Macho Man statue. You know it? Do I ever? Great. This BEW wrestler needs help with his gimmick. You'll know him when you see him. He's kind of between styles. Quest started. Face paint and handshakes. All right, all right, all right. <sighs> Check out your current objectives and past accomplishments in the quest tracker. This tool will provide a summary of your quest and provide directions on where to go next. Press R2 to bring up the UI page. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. All right, so now I feel like I, uh, I know that nobody in here is going to have anything worthwhile to say. So I'm not even going to bother. I'm just gonna go where they want me to go because with two different experimentations of not going where they told me to go, uh, I can see that there's not a whole lot going on here that is not on the, the main line. So <laughs> let's do what it is they want us to do and go where it is they want us to go. The Macho Man statue. I hope we get to fight this guy and it's not just a tutorial. Cream Macho Man statue. Man, I don't know about that. I don't know about that. Known for his consummate physical ability, his savage wrestling style, and his deep, gravelly voice, Macho Man Randy Savage is quite possibly the most iconic legend of wrestling. Celebrating 29 title reigns across his 32-year career, Macho Man was not just a celebrated champion, but a long-standing crowd favorite as well. Whether cutting exciting promos or delivering incredible and theatrical flying elbow drops, Randy Savage won fans and accolades everywhere he went. Even today, Savage is revered by fans and wrestlers alike, with his story inspiring generation after generation. It is no secret that not it take two. It is no secret that only someone like Macho Man can make the entire wrestling world stand up and say, Oh yeah! Yeah, thank you, Randy Santos. It's truly something, isn't it? Neon Gravebird. Eh, I was always more of... <laughs> I was always more of a fan of guys that wore face paint. Though that time Jake the Snake trapped Macho Man in the ropes and attacked him with that cobra would go over big in B.E.W. B.E.W. Wait, you're the guy I'm here to meet. I'm from the training gym. I'm here to help. Great. So you see, I can't quite decide which way to go. Should I be vibrant and electrifying, or dark and brooding? I think dark and brooding fits BEW better, but I just love using bright colors. I've got to pick something that will fit with the vibe of the other guys, or the writers won't know how to use me. Writers? Forget it. Look, can you just go to the face paint shop for me? They have some samples I want to try out. Sure, face paints, so the writers will like you. Poor thing, babbling about writers. He must be delusional. Head to the face paint shop to the so okay. Who are you, Emiko? I came all the way down from Omo Omo Chamachi to check out this shrine. Oh yeah, Jesus Christ, man! There's some okay, some what up match era gear here. I'm not even gonna bother talking to these guys because it's pretty clear they're not gonna have anything worthwhile to say. Who's this Gundam looking fucker? My daughter asked me to bring her here, then told me to stand not to stand by her. I guess I'm not cool enough. Spreadsheet alpha. <laughs> oh fuck. I would like to be doing something more interesting by this point. If I'm being honest. Going to buy this guy fucking face paint. This is what I'm doing? Hola, amigos! Hmm, strange. There's nobody here. Maybe they're in the back? Tell me I'm gonna have to fight somebody for some face paint. That's... That's what I would like to do. Mirror, not interactable. Uh, nothing of note, any... Oh, dude. All of these, All of these areas so far, and nothing is interactive. Can't do anything with anything so far. Wrestle Raider. <laughs> I feel like I'm repeating voices already. Take it all! Gather the war paint for our overlords! They're looting the shop! Here's one! Take him alive and we'll melt him down to use his plastic as war paint! Can I fight this fucking guy? Here we go. 
Set him up for a little strike ski. Oh, shit. Okay. I got a bone to pick with this, man. In the tutorial, every strike I did used X as the button. Every strike I did used X. And now I'm here in my first fight, and my strike button is circled? They didn't tell me it was going to switch. I don't like that. We're going to hit him with a gimmick. Or not. I press square, but it just did a regular strike. Hmm. Ah, fuck. That's on me. I pressed the wrong button. Gimmick. Okay, hold. I press square, and it says gimmicks, and then I tapped X to confirm. But I'm not really in gimmicks. Pressing square just shows me that square means gimmicks. So when I press X, it brings me to strike. Not a big fan of that. Not great UI right there. We're going to hit the little stunner ski here. And then I think we will go for the cover after that. Boom! Hit that stunner! He's down. That Wrestle Raider, or whatever his name is, is down. Go for the pin ski. We're going to wrap this boy out. One. Whoop. Only a one count, because I fucked up. But that's all right. I guess what you want to do is try to get the fucking... What's triangle do? Items? Clear tape. Keep it together. Okay, they didn't even tell me about those. Interesting. We're going to hit that stunner again. And I'm a little confused, because when I hit the stunner, the height meter looked like it went down. I don't know why it would go down when I use a gimmick. But it did. Here we go. You want to do it in the middle, if at all possible, because... Your arrow slows down when it gets toward the sides. Boom. Got some duct tape. They call me duct tape. I duct tape your ass today. <laughs> Nobody knows what I'm referencing there. <laughs> Nearly level three. I should find the shop owner before these wasteland slammers try to melt him down too. All right, is anything in here interactable? Here's a chest. Hey! Elbow pad. Can I put it on? Ooh, see? Now we're getting somewhere. Where's that elbow pad? I just... There we go. Yeah, dude! Come on, we put it on. I'll fucking bow it. How do you like that? All right. An interactable item. You see how happy that made me? I'm not hard to please. A table! There's only one way through one of these. A table blocks your path. Unlock the table with a table spot token. Once you find one, re-approach the table to throw a wrestler through it. Table locks and table spot tokens come in three varieties. Single, double, and flaming. With each table corresponding to the appropriate token. That I like. I like that. <laughs> so, okay, so now we can see as well there are uh, two more chests in here. One of them being this. Action figure speedos. Okay, I think we gotta put them on, right? Boom. Now we're fucking rolling here. We got one more chest and there it is. The table token should be in here, right? There it is. The movement's a little fucking squishy. I get caught on, like, every item I try to walk past. Oh, yeah! Pile driver through the table. I thought I was gonna have to fight somebody, and then I would slam them through it. Clutch hold. More war paint! Our masters demand it! Somebody help! We're being robbed! Oh, this guy's going down. What's his name? Clutch hold or some shit? We're starting this guy off with a fucking stunner. Extra slam bucks. I don't know why, but who cares? Big stunner! Oh, shit. I didn't know I was going to have a chance to uh, dodge that. I didn't know he was going to follow up. Wasteland wall. Okay, so he buffed himself. And to that, I say... This. You son of a bitch. Boom! Get the fuck out of here! 
I'm gonna hit him with that stunner ski again. How do you like that? Big stunner! And we... Oh, he tried to follow up and we fucking nailed him. He's gonna go wasteland wall again, but that's just... He's putting his damage up and he's not even gonna have a chance to fucking do anything with it. Because I'm dropping him down. On that stack of dimes, he calls him Nick. Go for the cover, and this guy is out of here, son. One. Two. Oh, shit! <laughs> son of a bitch! Alright, well, his damage is up. And, oh, I am just realizing that we don't have a lot of health left. But I'm not gonna do anything about it right now. Because I am convinced... That we can get him out of here and then maybe level up. And I think the leveling up sh should heal us. Man, that referee's got a slippery belly, huh? He just fucking slides right out of here. They call me duct tape. Come on, level up, level up, level up. No, not even close. Uh, oh, you bitch. Real close, real close. 56 away. Buddy, that was amazing. Are you a superhero? Ha! Superheroes are fake. I'm a pro wrestler. Well, whatever you are, those were some macho moves, muchacho. Yes, macho moves, muchacho. I like the sound of that. Those blasted wrestler raiders come down here to get supplies for the rituals to worship the road warriors. Hawk and animal. I wish they could emulate someone more heroic. Someone... More heroic? That wasn't a question, it was a statement. I fucked up. Anyways, what can I do for you, bud? It's on the house. Amigo, I'm here for a special order. Some samples for an ombre going through an identity crisis. Ah, I know the one. Can't decide between goth and surfer. Here they are. Thanks, muchacho. So we're going back to Neon Gravebird, who is clearly our stand-in for the stinger. And we're going to help him decide whether he should be the crow or the surfer. You got me? Now, oh, what are you doing up there? Are you just the same guy? Hello, we carry the very best face makeup here, but it doesn't look like your gimmick needs any. All right. Can I talk to you from this angle? Okay, I can. I just wanted to make sure that you didn't have to go around the wrong side of the counter just to talk to that guy. Because that would be unrealistic. Let's head back to this boy, the cream macho man shrine, and talk to this guy. Here, I hope he's helping your quest at BEW. Thanks. Say, what do you think I should choose? You've got to go with the surfer style, stand out more, and it suits a true hero. Go goth, amigo. You'll be more intimidating and mysterious. Fans will love it. So, do we want to... Both of these mean the same thing. You'll stand out more. Fans will love it. Uh, but I feel like he said earlier that the writers wanted him to be brighter. Right? But I'm looking at everybody else here and they all look bright. So I feel like maybe I should tell him to do something more interesting. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Thanks. I'll consider that. If you need me, I'll be over here practicing some catchphrases. Well, that sounds like something a surfer would do, not a fucking... Anyway, where to next? We'll play for a little while longer. I feel like we are hopefully getting out of this tutorial section. And we can check out more of the game at large. Hey, Randy, how'd that job go? I appreciate you doing it. It should strengthen our gym's relationship with BEW. It was unexpectedly enlightening, sir. Yeah, Boxwood Extreme Wrestling is a trip. They really push for an intense vibe, what with all the barbed wire and edgy characters and all. But it's what you got to do if you want to compete with the top dogs like PAW, plush and action figure wrestling. Mm. I don't know if you can have your company plush and action figure wrestling and call it PAW. That's a bit of a cheat. I meant enlightening about myself, sir. Great. It's always good to learn more about ourselves and strive to become better. 
That's enough for one day. Are you closing up again tonight? You bet, sir. Thanks, Randy. It's dedication like that. Take two. It's dedication like that will... This doesn't make any sense. It's dedication like that will take you far. That doesn't, that doesn't make any sense. You could say, it is dedication like that that will take you far. All right, I'm getting hung up on this. Knocked out a quest. I would have liked a trophy for that if I'm just being honest with you. Please help Mr. Stretch's new students and please help that poor BEW wrestler regain his senses. Amen. What a great day, Macho Man. I feel like I learned so much. I'm convinced, now more than ever, that we must always live out our wrestling spirit and that the world needs heroes. Good night, Macho Man Randy Savage. Heh, <laughs> Macho Muchacho. I'm not a big fan of our character. You wanna win. He's kind of a fucking brown nose and kiss ass idiot. I don't feel that, I don't feel like we should feel that way about the guy that we're playing as, but he I'm we're we're a half hour into the game and we're, we're brand new, but I'm in this bright eyed bushy tailed shit is not really hooking me right now. You here already? The sun hasn't even put the moon down for a three count yet. Always good to get an early start, sir. Is that a sleeping bag coming out of your locker? Doesn't matter. Listen, I got a surprise for everyone. Head over to the ring when you're ready. Yeah, we're fucking staying at work overnight. Didn't even fucking go home. Didn't even go do anything. I don't know, man. Not really sold on uh, Randy Santos just yet. All right, class. Stop the flex and turn your necks. We got a special lesson for you. Randy, get in the ring. So we're not out of the tutorial section yet, clearly. Today we'll be learning about managers. Managers act as ancillary party members that provide all sorts of benefits, like new gimmicks. Open the gimmick menu. Here we go. Now scroll to the right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, use my power heckle gimmick now. All right, here we go. Here he comes. How about that? I see, I see. Get some status effects going with our manager. Pretty cool, huh? Manager gimmicks will cost AP just like your regular gimmicks. They may also have other requirements. These gimmicks can be used by any member of your stable, so they can complement your existing abilities by filling in gaps. For instance, if you don't have any healing abilities, use a manager who does. This is my That's it? I didn't even get to finish the fight? Most managers will also have passive skills that provide bonuses to all members of your stable. They are very versatile and powerful components to your stable. Choose them wisely. Sir, you kept mentioning our stable. Do you mean that sometimes we won't have to wrestle alone? Of course not. You may find other slam junkies that you can call your friend, or even brother or sister. We'll talk more about that in today's advanced lesson. Head to the AV room when you're ready. Uh, Dan Dans, I'm not interested in doing another lesson right now. I think this was a quick look at WrestleQuest. And um, if you guys want to see more of this game, I will certainly play more of it. But I will get through the rest of the fucking tutorial first. And then we can get into the actual interesting quests and all that. But for right now, this was an introduction to WrestleQuest. I hope you enjoyed it. I love you. And I'll see you next week.